you have taken my lord away tell me then she he said mary then she said my lord the same thing happened in the emmaus experience the two disciples were walking and the lord joined them and they went some miles away and settled down in a place and when the lord broke the bread only they recognized the lord so wednesday after wednesday we have been coming and we have been hearing so many messages from lalita how much have we changed in our heart have you seen the lord we are coming here we are coming to see the lord how many has received how many has seen how many has changed let us ask the lord so the lord has given the grace today if not he is opening the heaven he has already come down for us he has forgiven we don't have to think about what we are carrying in our back loads just believe that jesus is here and i am going to see him today praise the lord praise, praise the, lord. the lord not tomorrow Hallelujah. i am going to see him today right now here who has come to see the risen lord hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. let's praise hallelujah. god hallelujah, hallelujah. you thanks to god hallelujah praise you jesus you are a risen lord hallelujah 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 thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord praise you lord bless you father god thank you jesus hallelujah thank you glory to your name lord thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah praise you My Savior, Redeemer, lifted me from the miry clay. Almighty, forever, I will never be the same as you came. From the everlasting to the world we live, the Father's only Son. Because you came near. Because you came Oh, yeah.
lived, he died and he rose again. And he's come to live among us again. And this resurrected power is with every one of us today. And today he is going to show us, he is going to reveal that mighty power to each and every one of us because we only need him. As we sing that beautiful song, we don't want blessings, but we want you. And we want only him, my brother, my sister, because whatever problems that you have brought along with you, whatever issues that you are involved in, whatever financial burdens you carry, none of it matters if you have him. If you have him, you have everything. So let us thank and praise this wonderful God, just as he has done. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. You, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Praise Lord. We exalt you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Lord. We worship you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Father, Lord, we look to you tonight about our circumstances, about our problems and situations, about our weaknesses and sinfulness. We look to you tonight, Lord. Jesus, when we feel we have lost our way, you're always right beside us. Every time when we fall at your feet in repentance, Jesus, it is you always love us. Lord Jesus, what a beautiful and blessed life is this. To know you, Lord, to be loved by you, to walk with you in complete surrender and even to live for you. My brothers and sisters, the word of God says in James 1.12, Blessed is the one who remains steadfast under trials, for when he stood the test, he will receive the crown of life which God has promised for those who love him. There is no crown of life, there is no resurrection, there is no restoration without persecution and suffering, my brothers and sisters. So today, if you have come here, If you are holding so much of pain, hurt, disappointments, rejections in your heart, and if you are in the middle of the crisis, just tell yourself, this is just a test. My Lord is growing me. He is preparing me for an amazing future that he has in store for me. Isaiah 30 says, even though the Lord permits hard times in our lives, he himself will be there to guide you, to teach you, to strengthen you. And you will hear him saying, this is the way, walk in it. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, we are not discouraged because things did not happen that we expected. We are not disappointed because we went through a setback. My brothers and sisters, just stay in faith. Rise up in faith. Every time when you stay in faith, you are getting one step closer to that situation to turn around. Our God has explosive blessings in our future, my brothers and sisters. And He's going to be with us in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We believe a lot. Hallelujah, Lord. He is going Thank to release you. his other level of favor in our life today as he promises in Exodus 34.10. I am going to do something great in your life that I have never done anywhere on this earth. Then your people will know what I, the Lord, can do because I am going to do something great and awesome in your life. Hallelujah. Let's just praise Hallelujah. and thank you. Oh Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for we are your grateful, Lord. Lord. We are grateful, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Bring my soul 
Similarly, in the song, Jesus, it is you. It is you who knows my rights, my wrongs, how far away I am, how close I am. And Lord, I can depend on you to draw me closer to your heart, to give me a deeper love, to transform me. This evening, let your love transform the coldness of my heart. Let your blood flow over me and warm my soul. As I experience your touch, your grace, and your abiding presence. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus, it is you. Hallelujah. 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 So I lift my hands. I bring my song. of surrender all of my days all of my days all of my rights all of my rights all of my rights
brothers and sisters, he is risen. He took our sins upon that cross. He died for us. And he has won the victory for us. And he is risen. Let us give a mighty hand and praise this Thank amazing Thank you, God. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. My brothers and sisters, he promised that he will send a counselor to protect us, to give us the strength that we need to live in this world. And as he hung on that cross, and as the blood and water flowed, the spirit flowed down into us. And like those disciples who had no means and no answers, and the minute the spirit came upon them, they had strength from above. And today, whatever we are going through, that Holy Spirit, just invite him into our lives, because with him, there is nothing that we cannot do. And that Holy Spirit is waiting to pour down the power into our lives. So just let us open our hearts and let us invite Him with gratitude, with grace, because we do not deserve this for brothers and sisters. But the cross, He won it all for us. So let us open our hearts and invite the Holy Spirit to give us strength when we can't even understand where the strength comes from. Because this world will give us all the answers, negative answers, but the Holy Spirit will tell us that we can do anything because God, my Lord Jesus, has won the victory on that cross. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, thank Jesus. you, Lord. Praise Hallelujah, you, Father. Hallelujah, 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 Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Praise you, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord.
We can perform everything, but we need your presence, Lord. With this fulfillment, we surrender the rest of our meeting to Mother Mary to intercede for each, every one of us to be filled with the Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and we are heard it. Amen. Praise the Lord. 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 Check. Check. Praise the Lord. We warmly welcome all those who have come for the prayer meeting for the first time. If any of you here have come for the first time, we kindly request you to stand up. Anyone here for the first time? Yes, brother, please remain standing. One of our ushers will come and give you a green slip. You can fill it and put it in one of the boxes. The reason why we want you to fill up the green slips is because um, we, you, we will send you a... a uh, a newsletter with all the details of all the programs and the services that we do. So please fill in all your details and you can put it in one of the boxes that are around here. Uh, the, we the weekly service meeting will be held tomorrow at Tabo at 6.30 p.m. If any of you like to join our service team, you can come tomorrow to Tabo at 6.30 uh, p.m. Also, um, the youth will be meeting on Saturday at St. Lawrence's Church, Balavatta, at 3.30 p.m. So we invite all the youth to come and join us. Also, uh, the young adults will be meeting on Monday at 6.30 p.m. at St. Anthony's Convent Hall. So we invite the young adults also to join us. Um, 
this is a special announcement. Uh, a few weeks back, we announced that uh, we'll be having uh, a, a, another inner healing uh, meeting, uh, inner healing program, but it will be cancelled. It was scheduled to be on the 27th, that's this coming Sunday, but it has been cancelled. Praise the Lord. Uh, the Businessmen's Fellowship will also be held this Friday at 6.30 p.m. at St. Anthony's uh, Church Hall, Colpity. Praise the Lord. There is a testimony to be read. About 20 years ago, I realized that I had no sense of smell. I consulted a doctor who, after an examination, came to the conclusion that my nerves responsible for the sense of smell were dead due to an infection I have had earlier and there is nothing that could be done to restore my sense of smell. One of my friends introduced me to a therapist who assured me that after a process of treatment by her over a period of three months, my senses would be restored. Since I was left with little or no choice, I went through this treatment but did not have any success and thereafter she herself gave up. I surrendered it to the Lord and carried on with my life. Over these 20 years, there were times when I would suddenly get a whiff of smell which would disappear after a while. I just left it with him. A few weeks ago, there was a message that the Lord is doing a miracle for a person who had no sense of smell and is giving it back. I claimed it. Now my sense for smell is back with me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. About two weeks ago, there was a word of knowledge uh, saying that a person whose the liver is affected due to certain medication will be touched and will be healed by the Lord. So actually, I came and claimed that word. Uh, and uh, uh, the doctor wanted me to get a report after one month. And uh, about two days ago, I got the report, and it says completely I am healed. So I want to thank and praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, uh, that healing is not as simple as she said it. She struggled with it for over two, hour, two years, two and a half years, with no real uh, solution in sight. And uh, after much uh, consultation with many people, uh, we really couldn't find an answer to the problem of the liver. And uh, four weeks ago, there was a word of knowledge that clearly said, uh, by that time the enzyme numbers had gone to three times the normal value. The normal upper value of liver enzymes is 40. Hers was 120. So that is, upper limit is 40. She was having 120. And the stomach was bloating and there were signs that the, uh, it was affecting the entire system. And, uh, and then you get the word of knowledge uh, it precisely it said, it said uh, someone who is having a problem with uh, liver enzymes due to drugs and uh, uh, within three weeks uh, when you take the test now it is in the lower 50s from 120 within 20 days come down to the lower 50s. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Glory to your name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So, uh, the words of knowledge that come from the Holy Spirit directly 
from heaven right into our hearts which really release a power that changes everything and it's the same words you must remember it's not only words of knowledge otherwise some people get stuck on words of knowledge every word of the scripture has the same power every sermon under anointing has the same power every song sung under the power of god has that same power so tonight we want that power to run in our meeting in a powerful way so first of all as we invite the the choir to join in and sing i invite you to pray especially today we have uh, father matthew naikambaram bill having the final meeting at vellavatta so in fact actually i invited him to come and have the meeting here on wednesday to conduct the meeting from here but uh, the organizers had organized it for the parish so they said they can't move so uh, what can you do you can't go beyond the point and uh, and uh, we can't stop the monday wednesday meeting because that's a process for people come from all over so that's why but we want to pray for their meeting in a special way and the anointing of god will be upon it and the holy spirit will move and thousands of people will be touched by the baptism of the holy spirit in a special way shall we lift up our voices to the lord yes lord your mighty hands your powerful touch your holy blessing your holy hand your goodness oh god let your powerful love rest in their lives and meet their needs so god and your powerful presence in their hearts as when i sabai 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 sabantan thank you lord you, praise you father hallelujah 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 as when i sabai sabai sabantan thank you lord hallelujah 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 praise you father glory to your name hallelujah 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 shall we give the lord a mighty hand say thank you lord Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Father. Glory to you. And you are beautiful beyond description. marvelous for us to wonderful for comprehension like nothing ever seen or heard who can grasp your
Just to remind you that on Friday we will have the morning meeting. So we finished 40 days and we were blessed with a divine surprise. What was the divine surprise? That uh, it's in Holy Week that we learnt that the founder of the divine retreat center that is father Matthew and I come from Bill what do you mean by the founder he's the one who started it actually under divine guidance and today uh, he's uh, going all over the world uh, others are running what he started so it's a great spirituality to leave it all in the hands of other people and uh, do something small and that's what he's doing all over the world he's going and sharing the gospel so uh, we, we know him well for many years and uh, uh, suddenly we realized he was coming to Vallavatta Parish and out of nowhere and then on Wednesday I met him and when I met him he agreed to, or not on Wednesday, on, on Monday Thursday, I met him, he agreed to come on Holy Saturday morning and on Easter Sunday for the final meeting we had in the evening and true to his word uh, he conducted both meetings and everyone who was there was truly blessed by uh, 
coming to the meeting. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we are truly grateful. And in that gratefulness, uh, we continue to pray for their mission and ministry. So uh, the Friday morning, we have the meeting again. So next year, uh, I'm just thinking of doing the Easter 40 days from Easter Sunday to Pentecost. So because we have already done uh, Lent three times and there's nothing more to Lent now. Everything has been Lent. And <laughs> so therefore, <laughs> therefore we'll <laughs> do uh, the Easter, six weeks of Easter. And uh, uh, so we will schedule ourselves so that we don't go abroad during those six weeks and we have the 40 days uh, unbroken. So I'm inviting those, take an effort. You know, those who are in the 40 days, you would see great things happened in our lives. Many wrote to me uh, explaining what had happened in their hearts, testimonies of what the Lord has done. So if you slept soundly uh, and didn't come, uh, all you have is your sleep, which is a memory only now. Any case, uh, that's all that is left. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So today, our theme is, uh, in the next six weeks, we will be looking at the risen Christ. That is going to be our theme for the next six weeks. Looking at the risen Christ. So what does it mean to look at the risen Christ? Uh, because it's so important to understand. Normally when you look at the picture uh, of Jesus, of the risen Lord, you are reminded of him. Isn't it? You are reminded of Jesus. You are reminded through the picture. But who is the Jesus you are reminded of? In actual fact, you are reminded of the Jesus that is in your own mind. You can't go beyond through a picture. You must follow me carefully. What do you mean you can't go beyond? When you look at a picture and you think about Jesus, who is the Jesus you are thinking about? You are thinking about the Jesus that you have learnt about from your childhood. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So a picture has a limitation. An image has a limitation. While it has an ability to remind you of that person, normally what happens is it becomes a reflection of what you already know. That's why people don't grow beyond that picture. People remain the same. Because the picture they are looking at is an image that limits them to their own understanding. But pictures are valuable. Why is that? Because those days, no videos, no DVD, no internet, no Google, so if you want to know who St. Anthony is, you looked at a statue. Otherwise, there's no way to find out, isn't it? So you looked at a statue of St. Anthony. So every time you saw someone with less hair, you also remembered St. Anthony. So, 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 so where, what happens is, uh, you are, uh, you remember, you remember through, that's why the church has given us icons, statues, to make us remember to go beyond. But unfortunately, we can't go beyond a certain level. But there's another picture we can build. Those who are writing down, you can write down. The second picture is much more powerful. 
what is that picture you call it the word picture what do you mean by a word picture that is through the words of the gospel you start looking at jesus now that what happens to you then means when you start looking at him through the words of the gospel and through the holy spirit you see beyond what you already see praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord and st paul says in hebrews 4:12 he says the word of god is a life it's a two edged sword it pierces between the bone and the marrow the soul and the spirit and reveals the secrets of the heart not only our secrets but even god's it's amazing in 1 corinthians 2 he says who can know in the heart of god except his own spirit and he says that spirit takes things from the heart of god and reveals it into our own hearts praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord so there's a whole world we can get inside there's a whole world but how do you get inside you go beyond mere pictures and get into the picture of the gospel by the power of the holy spirit I following what I'm saying so therefore in the next 6 weeks we have six snapshots of the risen Christ six images that will help us to experience him at a deeper level in our lives praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord so actually one thing that god gives us is signs and wonders and miracles now oh, mercia she experienced actually i know because i was deeply involved with her sickness a miracle from god now this miracle is only a door for what to enter into the greater picture of the risen christ many people never walk past the miracle we get we stop there and we are waiting for a another miracle <laughs> then we are waiting for a another miracle till we become so selfish that we lose our journey praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord you must remember every miracle every divine intervention is a door into the heart of the risen christ so six images in the six weeks to the feast of pentecost praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord today we are looking at the picture of john john's picture of the risen christ now when we talk about this picture i must remind you of the three manifestations of jesus in the new testament you must it must be crystal clear for all of us the three manifestations of jesus what is that the first manifestation was found the last by the christian church the first one the first one is jesus the second member of the holy trinity now there is a jesus like that jesus the second member of the holy trinity now he lived forever he was with the father begotten not made one in being with the father called substantial the the new uh, uh, article of faith says you know it's not new it's the ancient uh, saying consubstantial that means of the same material same as the father so jesus lived for ever he didn't start becoming jesus when he was born or when he was in the womb of the blessed mother he was jesus the second member of the holy trinity for 
ever. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise. We must never forget that. If you forget that, we have lost the meaning of who Jesus is. Jesus is the second member of the Holy Trinity. He's God. That's the division we have with the Jehovah's Witness. They say he's the Son of God, not God. And this main article excludes them from Christian faith. You must understand. So here is Jesus number one. John chapter one, verse one is the, is the base of that. John 1, 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That means who is this Word? Jesus Christ himself. You must remember that's number one manifestation. The number two manifestation is Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth. Born 2000 years ago through the, through the Virgin Mary. Jesus of Nazareth. Born through the Virgin Mary. Born in Bethlehem. Raised in Nazareth, lived his last three years in a little village called Capernaum. So many few people know that they call him Jesus of Nazareth, but he shifted from Nazareth. He shifted to this place called Capernaum. He was actually a neighbor of uh, Saint Peter. They were friends. He, they lived near the, the sea the Sea of Galilee and he was crucified in Jerusalem on the Mount of Golgotha and when he was crucified he died there and his body, the body of Jesus of Nazareth was brought down from the cross carried into a tomb and a stone was placed over that, that door when that happened, it was the full stop to the life of Jesus of Nazareth. But then, three days later, out from the tomb came the third Jesus. Who is the third Jesus? Jesus, the risen Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Why am I explaining this? You need to understand. There's the Lord Buddha. He gave a teaching and he left. There is, the, there is the Prophet Muhammad. He revealed the Quran and he left. Jesus Christ, he gave teachings. But his teachings is not the most important thing in his life. You must understand that. While teachings are of course important, but if you take away the Lord Buddha's teachings, there is nothing left. If you take away the Quran, there is nothing left to, to, for the Prophet Muhammad. But even if you take away all the teachings of Jesus Christ, still there is something that is absolutely unique. What is that? Jesus Christ has risen from the dead and he's alive. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And a lot of people don't know this difference. Many Christians don't know this. If you take away the whole set of teachings, still Christianity is intact. Because it's a person, not a body of teaching. It's not merely a historical figure. It's a person, Jesus of Nazareth, the second member of the Holy Trinity, came out of the tomb as the risen Christ. And he is alive here today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So it's not about healing. <laughs> it's not about a miracle. It's about the miracle of all miracles. What is that? The Lord has risen and is alive 
and now he is here with each and every one of us. Shall we give the Lord a mighty hand and we say thank you Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. So those days people went to England and came back. We believed them because they said all what happened in England. But we never saw England. We only knew the people who had gone to England and came. How do you know? By their accent. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? People go to India and stay 10 years, they don't get an accent. <laughs> you go to England for six months, you can understand what they're saying. You know? So, so, uh, so, so you will see, uh, we can, there are people who have come back and they tell us about England, England or no? any other country. Do you know that the risen Christ has gone across the river of death and he has come back and he's telling us there is a life after death. And it's better than the life we have here. Shall we give the Lord a hand, my brothers and sisters? Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 And he's not just speaking about a life after death. He says, of course, it's better. It's business class. It's first class there. Yeah. Here you are in the third class. But it is better. But he says... It's not only when you go there, here and now, I'll bring you life that you can have perfect peace, perfect rest, perfect strength, internal freedom and live a life of fulfillment and happiness here on earth. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's the message of Christianity. That's why I said you have to look at the word picture. <laughs> Looking at a picture, you never find this out. <laughs> you will see a nice Jesus. And in fact, one guy who did a seminar for us showed us the basic image from which they draw the face of Jesus is a woman. <laughs> they have taken a beautiful woman and put a beard on her. <laughs> and from that, from the 14th century down, the pictures of Jesus have evolved. <laughs> So, so, so you can see uh, how we are limited. Go beyond in these six weeks. The Christ, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So how do we look at him? We look at him through the gospel of John today. John 20 verse 19. John 20, verse 19. These verses we use in the four step retreat. Uh, beautiful, powerful verses to introduce the retreat. And today I want to take you deeper. On the evening of that first day of the week, you can repeat that. When the disciples were together, with the doors locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Now, look at this text. Look at it carefully. Can you tell me what was the feeling that the disciples had in their hearts? Look at it and tell me what's it. Fear. Now, what did fear do? Because they had fear, what did they do? The doors became locked. So you can write those two words down. Fear makes us lock doors. So today we are going to examine a few locked doors. Not ado, but do. <laughs> so, 
The real problem is for those who are, you know, in our, this message goes to many countries in the world, and in some countries, uh, Sri Lankans and those country people come together and they listen. So when that happens, Sri Lankans, they keep telling me, don't say these things, because we have to explain what that means to those people. <laughs> this message, uh, over a week, three, four thousand people uh, downloaded in the internet. Uh, so, oh, from this Wednesday to the following Wednesday, all over the world, when we go to some place in the world, somebody will walk up to us and say, uh, uh, we are living our lives through the message that is coming through the internet. It says, we are waiting for it. We are waiting, some people for the Tuesday message from Mamboli, some people for the Wednesday. Because it's the word of God. We try to keep it directly linked to the Word of God, not clever, beautiful words. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So you'll see here, what are the two things here? Fear that brings locked doors. I want to talk to you about those two things. Normal fears drive us to God. What is that? Fear of death drives us to God. Isn't it? You get sick and somebody tells you are going to die, you are driven to God, isn't it? Normal fears drive us to God. You have a financial crisis, don't know what to do. Tomorrow they are coming to ask for the money. What do you do? Today you pray. Even if you are not a prayer, tonight you will pray. Why is it? Oh God, meet my needs. <laughs> That's what. So people pray when they have fear. But there is another kind of fear that makes you lock your doors. What do you mean by doors locked? You close your heart to God. You close your heart to what God can do in your life because of fear. So let's start with a common one. Addictions. Now, if we find happiness through an addiction, Alcohol, heroin, ganja, whatever it is. If you find your happiness food through an addiction, you fear the risen Christ. Because if he comes, he may ask you to give that up. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are you following what I'm saying? So therefore, there are many of us who don't mind the risen Christ, but can't unlock the doors. Because if he comes, he will ask me for this and that. Why can't he be like some other God? Isn't it? Give me, I'll give you money, you give me this, and everything is fine. Not so. Are you following what I'm saying? Can you understand? S second type of fear you can write down. Lust and desire. What do you mean? There are some people, their satisfaction and fulfillment is in their lusting. There is no other way. Sometimes in officers you will get that, isn't it? Uh, people don't know what a clean joke is. Every joke has a sexual uh, overtone. <laughs> Why is that? It is unfulfilled internal desire. You think about it, you dream about it, you feel it, you are plotting it, and your doors are locked. If Jesus comes inside and tells me to stop lusting, what's the point in living? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, there are people like that. 
they rather die than stop that because they say life is empty that's one of the biggest problems of addiction when you think beyond your addiction you think it's death i can't go beyond this because if i give this up there is nothing to fill my life and the lord says the risen christ says i am bringing you something else Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Third, lock finances. We are afraid to open the door because God may tell us how to handle our finances. Don't bribe. How to do anything in Sri Lanka without bribing? <laughs> That's what people tell me. how how to do anything without taking a bribe see the cost of living <laughs> you justify it you give it a beautiful word don't call it a bribe she that's dirty <laughs> call it a incentive that looks better <laughs> call it an encouragement call it anything you like but you don't want jesus christ on the scene because if he cuts into the scene my company will run at a loss praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord dosa locked isn't it true yesterday i spoke this at mamboli and i asked them a question aparad daavi <laughs> you were so happy till you started i started the sermon <laughs> because because the real problem is we don't want to go beyond because we are afraid doors are locked fourth fear all these fears what's the fourth fear fear of losing control what does that mean in our culture i'm just talking culturally yeah there's always the exception to the rule but culturally i'm talking men dominate the family culturally of course there are the exceptions where women dominate but generally men dominate and they are afraid to try another method of being gentle and kind and listening and nice ohoma keruot hondata hiti they are afraid to try another method so what do they do they use cruel methods control manipulation abuse reaction hurts threats you are afraid to unlock the door to allow jesus in praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord you must follow what i'm saying can you understand actually it's my own experience when i realized that my method of married life something was wrong how did i realize it it was having a pretty bad effect on my wife i was pretty happy <laughs> because i was doing things in a pretty selfish way you know but it was having a pretty bad effect on her life then only i realized i need to change then only i came face to face with this problem i was afraid to change because i didn't want to lose control i didn't know what else to do i didn't know there would be a better method till both of us because we had an experience of god god thank god for that we began to seek the face of the lord teach us your way of married life your way of relationship your way of caring for one another and the lord had to teach it now looking back 30 odd years later i can tell you it's a beautifully better way praise the lord 
praise the lord praise the lord but we would not have learned that if we didn't unlock the door do you understand what i'm saying if you don't unlock it you'll never get there fifth fear final fear i won't tell any more <laughs> fear of losing position and possession position and possession we are kind and nice and gentle but become vicious and critical in our offices when we suspect somebody else may be taking my <laughs> position <laughs> then only in the singular word comes capilla <laughs> cut <laughs> cut the neck off criticize them men destroy their reputation because i have to protect my own praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord good christians who are communicants and pray and go to the novenas come to the prayer meetings become vicious street fighters biting and scraping in the battle of the office praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord i didn't come to your office <laughs> <laughs> this is brought about by fear fear brings this i following what i'm saying so what happens when you have fear you lock the doors doors locked due to fear isn't that amazing in this little verse god has hidden a whole world praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord we were laughing at the apostles we were laughing at the apostles thinking you know they were afraid not us but here it is the fear of our own lives that make our doors locked even in religious things in somebody or a group of people feel that your place is been taken by somebody else gentle people become vicious brutes praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord criticizing attacking judging with no base at all why is that because fear makes them lock their does but immediately the risen christ gives an answer what's the answer he gave look at the answer he gave us the answer you can write down the answer what's it there you can see the answer what's that peace he said what does that mean the lord who is risen from the dead is coming to me and saying i overcame death I overcame the worst thing in the universe and I give you the assurance if you open the door I will overcome every obstacle in your life. Shall we give the Lord a hand my brothers and sisters? Thank you Lord. Hallelujah. 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 That's the good news. Here it is. You may have a complication in your finances. a need in your inner being a problem with your lust a struggling with your sister with your relationships caught up in anything he says it's all right you can be at peace now i have come i'm risen from the dead and i have an answer for every one of your needs shall we give the lord a hand again my brothers and sisters i may say thank you lord Thank you you have an answer for every one of our needs thank you lord hallelujah hallelujah that's why fear is replaced by peace so what do you do first of all what i do is i tell the lord lord my locks are pretty rusty <laughs> i don't even have the keys true because the real problems are not outside it's actually inside me 
I always thought the problem was these badly behaved people. But now I begin to realize the problem is what the bad things that happen inside me due to badly behaved people. <laughs> the, pro the problem is I have no keys to unlock because my inner being won't allow me to use the keys. So what do I do? I tell the Lord, like you entered that room that the doors were locked, please enter my lock heart. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Make a breakthrough inside me so that you overcome the doors that are closed. Then I pray for each and every one I see as an obstacle. I tell the Lord instead of complaining about them, enter into their locked lives. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The moment I say those two prayers, one for my own inner being, next for other people, what do I get in my heart? What do I get? Peace. So the gift of the risen Christ is peace. If you don't have peace, you don't have him. That's all. You can offer a beautiful excuse. That guy is the reason, this is the reason, that situation is the reason. No! It's because you have lost him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you have peace, it's because of him. Even never mind what the circumstances are. Is it clear what I'm saying? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Look what happened. Look at the next verse. Verse 20. After he said this, he showed them his hands and side. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Now, first he replaced fear by, with peace. Now he's giving them a second gift. What's the gift? Look at it carefully. What's the gift? Joy. Peace and joy. Why joy? I've, I've preached this sermon many times, so I'm not going to give details, but it's pretty simple. When he showed them his hands and side, in his hands were the wounds. In his side was the wounds. Initially, it was these wounds that terrified the apostles. How do you know that? Because when they heard that Jesus was being crucified, what did they do? They ran into the upper room, locked all the doors and windows, and they were shivering in terror. But when he showed them the hands and wounds now, instead of terror, what they received was joy. Why is that? Because Jesus Christ has risen from the dead. Shall we give the Lord a hand, my brothers and sisters? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 He said, they did their worst, but I'm back. They tried to destroy me, but I'm back. They did all they could, but I'm back. I have overcome. That's why Christianity could not be stopped in the early times. Because they had seen the wounds and the side of the master. They knew that nothing could stop it. That's why torture didn't stop it. That's why taking off their children and throwing them into wild animals didn't stop them. That's why burnt alive didn't stop them. Here, one critical word and we are stopped in our tracks. Babang. Yanda babang. Badak nabang. One little word because we have made this into a religion and a philosophy. 
where people are expecting a trouble free problem free life from jesus christ and when they deal with an issue they can't handle anything why can't they handle anything because we have all become babes no teeth don't know how to eat strong meat can't stand we are all been fed on a bed ready to die expire at any moment praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord weak powerless helpless because we have not looked at the wounds of christ praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord actually put it into your heart my brothers and sisters put it into your heart receive it quietly inside the lord is telling us through the gospel of john today the the five signs you can write down the five signs i'm not going to explain but i've said it earlier in my teachings on the wounds of christ but the five signs of the wounds of christ the sign of pain the sign of pain the sign of shame pain shame weakness pain shame weakness humiliation and death isn't that the five worst things that can happen to anybody and the lord says i have taken these five things and turned it all into a blessing shall we give the lord a hand my brothers and sisters praise you father hallelujah 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 so it's very simple we have pain and if you encounter the risen christ in that pain that pain is no longer a curse you have shame and you encounter the risen christ through that shame your shame is no longer a curse in fact it's the door to the glory and the blessing you have shame and humiliation but because of that shame and humiliation you come into an encounter with the risen christ it's no longer humiliation but it's a door into the fullness of jesus glory and if it is death and you have the risen christ with you death is no longer the end but the beginning of a glorified life with god praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord everything changed because the lord is risen but my brothers and sisters he must be risen not just risen risen with you risen for you risen in you that's the seeking in these six weeks we seek the risen one instead of seeking a solution we seek the risen one so that pain is transformed shame is transformed weakness is transformed humiliation is transformed and death itself is transformed because i have the risen christ coming into my life praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord i following what i'm saying can you understand clear it must be clear that the word is clear actually you can find him somebody is dying you can find him because he is there with you he is the risen from the dead and he is here with you to take you across isn't that the worst thing that can happen you know i heard a, 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 a film star been interviewed on cnn once you know not very bright from the answer that film star gave you know look beautiful but not too bright yeah, it's all about <laughs> so so gave a, about cigarette smoking he said cigarette smoking is very bad he said not too good for you because you can die and dying may not be too good for you <laughs> for god's sake when you are dead it's over that's the worst thing that can happen to you but even that thing 
the risen Lord will accompany you from death to eternal life. Shall we give the Lord a hand, my brothers and sisters? Praise your Father. Hallelujah. 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 That's why he came back to show the wounds and to tell us, I'm accompanying you on that journey. Like God accompanied Moses and the people across the Red Sea. He's accompanying the risen Christ. He's accompanying us across the sea of death into eternity. That's the worst. And then he says, meanwhile, he says, I'll accompany you through every crisis of your life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pain, shame, difficulty, weakness, sickness, I'll accompany you. And when I'm there, there will be peace and there will be joy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Isn't that amazing what the Lord is offering us in this time of the resurrection? And let's go one step further. Verse 21. Again Jesus said, Peace be with you. Again he's saying, yeah, this is my gift to you. You'll have absolute peace. As the Father has sent me, I'm sending you. I'm repeating this. You can write it down. You can pray this. God has a commitment to you. He says, I love you and I will look after you. The Lord says, I love you and I will look after you. But then he tells each one of us, I have a job for you. As the Father sent me, I am sending you. Why do you think many people are praying, praying, praying and still unfulfilled, angry, vicious, biting. There are people like that. Pray three hours before the blessed sacrament, come out and show your teeth at the slightest provocation by somebody else. Lose it all. Why? Because their prayer is focused on themselves. And it will destroy you if you are centered on yourself. The reason Christ is telling each one of us, I'll come to meet your needs, but you have to agree to do something. What is that? As the Father has sent me, I'm sending you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm sending you. Now, that day I said, during the 40 days, I repeated last week. He's not telling us to go to Papaya, New Guinea. <laughs> Why did I say Papaya, New Guinea? Because it seems the most difficult place to go. <laughs> but he's telling us, go back to that family that you don't like. I wish it was somebody else. Those days, Dakina Kang in the bear. Now, Dakama in the bear. <laughs> People want to love their neighbor, and that's literally true. <laughs> they, don't, they don't want to love their spouses, they want to love their neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> because they can't make that commitment. My brothers and sisters, follow carefully. Follow carefully. The first mission is to our family. Accept your spouse from the hands of your God. That's a mission in itself. Warts, broken, big problems, badly brought up. That's why people hate their mothers-in-law. You are criticizing me. Look at your, look at your son. Look at your daughter. 
see what you have done with them <laughs> lazy lout <laughs> so, so, so you can, can, can you can you can see what the problem is the problem is that we are unable to love those in close proximity that's why we like to go to papaya new guinea <laughs> Further the better. <laughs> Let's have a, uh, a long distance love affair. <laughs> no, my brothers and sisters, the challenge is, of course God has a mission that is bigger than our family, but the first mission is to the family. Then to the world. Because Jesus said, when you receive the Holy Spirit, you will become my witnesses. First in Jerusalem, then in Samaria. Samaria is our enemies. Jerusalem is our family. Samaria is our enemies. Somebody is talking here, then no? don't talk because you are distracting. I think it's Raja. Yes. So, uh, because two commentaries won't work. So. So, uh, so uh, you will see uh, the first is Jerusalem, second is Samaria. Samaria is your enemy. Then you, if you handle your enemy, you will be given the bigger area. And then you go to the ends of the earth. But first it is Jerusalem. The risen Christ has called you to be a witness. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But Jesus knew they can't do it on their own. Isn't it true? Our own family, it's the biggest problem. Can't love them. For God's sake, these people, how difficult they are. <laughs> That's why verse 22 and with that, you can repeat that. He breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Shall we give the Lord a hand, my brothers and sisters? Praise your Father. Hardy, hardy, hardy. Now, you must understand the risen Christ through the Holy Spirit is not coming to stay with you only. He's coming to live inside you. So that the power of the resurrection can work through your life. That's why we need the risen Christ. He is bringing the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are you following what I'm saying? Then what will happen? See, what will happen first in your family? Look at the next verse. What will happen? Verse 23. If you forgive anyone his sins, they are forgiven. Where does your family life start? Starts by forgiveness. And here is the beginning of the time of the resurrection. What is that? Let the past go. 25 years ago, your father promised to give me this. He's dead and gone also. But he never gave it to me. That's from where the fight starts. <laughs> this is what your mother told me. I still remember. And see what happened. You have never let the past go. Let's start today. You need the anointing of the Holy Spirit to forgive. Otherwise you will always go back. You need the anointing working in your depths to forgive and set free. Jesus is not saying, I'll make their sins reasonable that you can forgive them. No. He is saying, I'll fill you with the Holy Spirit. I'll live inside you 
that the unforgivable sin will be forgiven. Shall we give the Lord a hand, my brothers and sisters? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Then heaven will come into our families. The kingdom of God. If you refuse, look at this. If you do not forgive them, you can repeat that. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. The hell will continue in our homes. The fighting, the suspicion, the reaction, the hurts, the carrying off this burden of our past and unloading it on our children, seeing them carrying the tragedy of our own brokenness, generation to generation. Can you see? I was watching my grandson. You know. He's... Who does that? I do that. <laughs> my eldest son does that. He's doing it. Generation two, if a hand habit is passed down, can you imagine what's happening from inside? Nature to nature to nature. That's why Jesus said, I'm giving you the Holy Spirit that you can break this curse that is running in your families for generation. Set them free. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And maybe you can't because the hurt is too deep. Maybe you can't. You can't remember, forget what they did. That's why we are baptized in the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. People want to be baptized in the Holy Spirit that they can give a sermon like never before. Or they can pray over somebody and something great will happen. That's also all ego. The baptism of the Holy Spirit is first of all for the forgiveness of sins. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is it clear what I'm saying? Can you understand? What will happen to people who enter this experience? That is given in the first reading. They had to go there because they know it's complete. You can write down. What happens to people who encounter the risen Christ and the Holy Spirit? What will happen to them? It's there. Acts 2, 42. In the, in the first reading, I picked up five things that happened to the early church because the risen Christ came. Five things that can happen to us. Let's look at Verse 42. Can you? Uh, it's on. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. So the Eucharist was celebrated right from the start. You can tell our Protestant brothers and sisters. The Eucharist was celebrated right from the start. Through the Eucharist and through the prayer, the apostles and the disciples were looking at Jesus and God the Father. You must understand, that's the first thing that happened. They were not looking at the lies in each other's heads. That's what many Christians are doing. Let me look at your head and see whether you are having any lies. <laughs> While lies are pouring from my head also. We are wanting to clean up other people. Finding out what's wrong with them. Cleaning them up, criticizing them, running them down. We are totally in to try and make each other. The early church was lost in a heart of worship. They were looking at Jesus. They were experiencing the Eucharist. They were having a fellowship and they were worshiping the Lord. 
And that's the answer, my brothers and sisters, to any family. I tell people, you know, a husband and a wife praying together is very important. But even more important is praying individually, separately to God. Why is that? Because each one must see the face of Jesus. When both have seen the face of Jesus, they can come together and pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Otherwise, we are just saying prayers. And the nature goes on. Do you see the first thing that happened? They became a worshipping community. Looking at Jesus, looking at the Father, enjoying the internal life. Number one. See the number two. Look at the next verse. Verse 43. Everyone is filled with one with awe. You can repeat that. And many wonders and miraculous sun, signs were done by the apostles. And because they were a worshipping community, what happened? Miracles and signs and wonders happened. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because the risen Christ was actually living inside them. The Holy Spirit was moving in them. Therefore, miracles took place. And when a miracle takes place, the gospel is easy to present to people. That's what happened. Why aren't we having miracles? Of course, we are thankful God is giving us miracles. But why don't we have more? Because we are preoccupied with the things that happen around us then have a heart of worship. So this, this six weeks, the first thing we do is look at Jesus and the Father with a heart of worship. Spend time in personal prayer. Have a connection with God. Allow it to flow into your heart. Number two, expect God to do miracles. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because his presence will be confirmed by those miracles. Signs and wonders. Number three. Look at the next verse. Verse 44. All the believers were together and had everything in common. This is the real miracle. The door locks were all removed. What did they do? They shared everything they had. Why? Why did they share everything they had? Because they found the risen Christ and his riches inside. They, they are not afraid tomorrow what will happen. The risen Christ will provide. When I am old, what will happen? The risen Christ will provide. What will happen here and what will happen there, the risen Christ will provide. And because of that internal assurance, they didn't have to acquire more than they needed. They were able to share. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Look at verse 45. Selling their possessions and goods, they gave to anyone as he had a need. This is something I found out in my own life and in the other people. When you have little, it's easy to share. It's a, it's an amazing thing, you know. Uh, uh, people who's, who live day to day, they share things spontaneously. But the richer you become, the more difficult it is to share. It's amazing. The doors are locked. I'm telling you, take that step tonight. Start. Share how much you have. The Lord is teaching me as well. You know, I found, you know, after some time you get used to not sharing. And the Lord is telling me, you have to learn it over again. And I'm learning it. And I'm finding the joy of sharing what you have 
and receiving the blessing directly from the risen Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Instead of being stingy and being least and giving the least. Because the Lord is good to you, you are generous. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I must tell you there are some of you who are beautifully generous that way. That's why we can carry on this mission. 105 meetings. 105 meetings in, a, in so many places in the country. All done by a generosity of a few people. But God has raised you to do that. But if you are not generous and the door is locked due to fear, you are the loser. You are losing the greater blessing of God. So what do you do? Number one, learn to look at him and not around you. Number two, go and see the signs and wonders and the miracles of what God is doing. Then in that confidence, share what you have with one another. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Number four. Every day, they continue to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts. Worship led to fellowship. They had something called fellowship. They shared what the Lord was doing and they enjoyed each other's company because they were looking at the risen Christ. Can you see? 40 days, how many people came and said, in vain the days are ending. Easy for them to say, they have to get up early morning, get ready to do the 40 days. But why is that? There is a flow of energy in that fellowship. There's a presence, there's a powerful anointing of God in that thing. And people experience a freedom and a liberation. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's why we come together meeting after meeting. Are you following what I'm saying? And the fifth and final one. Verse 48. Forty, 47, sorry. Praising God not praising each other or praising themselves, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. You know why some people hate us? I'll tell you. Because we are monkey praising their own tail. Holier than thou. You know, walk two inches above. Put your nose down and look down on those who are not in the journey. They hate us. Because from inside we are carrying pride, not brokenness and humility. But look at this, they were praising God and enjoying the favor of all people because they were not trying to tell people that they were better than them or teaching people what to do. They simply enjoyed the life of praising God. What happened? And the Lord added to their number, you can repeat that, Daily, those who are being saved. Shall we give the Lord a hand, my brothers and sisters? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord added to their numbers. And here are the five things that happen if you encounter the risen Christ and the Holy Spirit. This week, in the next seven days, go before the Lord. Sit before the Lord early morning. Read these passages of scripture and ask him, take me into that heart. Let fear be replaced by peace. Let joy overflow in my life. Baptize me in the Holy Spirit that I may fulfill your mission in my family. And Lord, let forgiveness flow and bring reconciliation among us all. And you will see a blessing coming to us 
in the time of the resurrection. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Shall we get ready for the worship of the Blessed Sacrament? brothers and sisters can you look at the most holy sacrament tonight it is Jesus risen from the dead the church teaches us it's a sign it's a symbol but it is more than a sign and a symbol it is Jesus risen from the dead and alive here. He has come even to the doors that are locked. He has come even to the hearts that are broken and unable to handle life. He has come even when we cannot open the door he has come to meet my inner need. He is my everything. When you say those words, can you think about it? He's my financial answer. He's my psychological answer who meets my need for validation and value. He's my emotional answer. He is the one who be, fills me with love. He is my physical answer. He brings healing. He is my spiritual answer. He reveals the Father to me and gives me the eternal life. He is my all, both great and small. Great things even the smallest things and the promise he holds out tonight is there will be peace absolute stillness with you. there will be joy joy overflowing inside you there will be forgiveness and mercy there will be fulfillment in your life I have risen, I have come back, and I'm living inside of you, the Lord says. So let us come before the Lord this evening with a lot of expectation. Lord, I'm no longer asking you for money. You are my answer. I'm no longer asking you to change the heart of someone to love me. You are my answer. 
I'm no longer telling you to change the attitude of my enemy. You are my answer. I'm no longer telling you to ease that problem. You are my answer. When you come, every need will be met and you'll take me through it. And every curse turn into a blessing. Look at him. Look at him right now and say, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Forget who is next to you. Raise your voice tonight. Raise your voice. Make a connection with the risen Christ. Come in the Holy Praise Eucharist. You, Jesus. Thank you, and Father. say, Praise Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Worship you, Jesus. Worship you Thank Lord. You for your Bless you, Lord. Honor you, Lord. Glory to you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Worship you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Worship you, Lord. Glory to you, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are the answer. You are the breakthrough. You are the light in my darkness. You are the revelation. You are the living one. You are the riches. You are the resources. You are the lover. You are the need, answer to my need. You are the living one. You are the risen one. Lord, you have a breakthrough. We have breakthrough in the spirit. Breakthrough into our hearts. Let the presence flow with a mighty river. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to your name. Worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.
Enjoy his protection, enjoy his presence in the power of the Holy Spirit living inside of you. Taste and see that the Lord is good. A peace that we never knew is waiting for us. A joy that is beyond mere human joy is waiting for us. The only way the author of the Psalms could say it. The taste that he knew the highest was the taste of honey taken from the rock. And he said, the love, the protection, the security, the relationship of the Lord is like honey from the rock. It's only a simile only an explanation but it goes way beyond when they saw the risen Christ it went beyond words a peace that passes understanding a joy that is everlasting a strength of God in the Holy Spirit the unique presence of the risen Christ living inside the gifts the Lord is offering us Taste and see that the Lord is good. Lord Jesus, we pray tonight for each and every brother and sister who comes to the meetings of the CRL. We are the community of the risen Lord. We pray, Lord, let there be a breakthrough in our lives this year. A breakthrough from mere ideas and thoughts into the revelation of the Spirit. And suddenly the peace, the joy, the fulfillment, the presence would become real in our lives. And Lord, we'll have a heart of worship like the apostles had in the early church. There will be miracles and signs and wonders that flow through us. 
our selfish hearts will be broken and we will be sharing our depths. There will be a relationship and a fellowship that comes from the experience of you, Lord. And others will be drawn into your experience because of what you do in our minds. Lord, we believe already you have begun it in the 40 days. Already you are showing us what you are already doing. You are revealing through these words to us. And we want to say, thank you, Lord. Worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Let's build a throne of praise and worship. Make a breakthrough in your own life. Don't get stuck with yourself. Break out. Thank you. Worship you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let there be a breakthrough. Let there be a break out from your heart. Yes. Let break the depression. Lord, we pray. Let the depression be broken. Let sadness and confusion be lifted. Let every selfishness and ego and lust be shattered and your holy presence make a breakthrough. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 It's a nice, 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 it's a nice. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Like honey in the rock. reflected deeply today is already resting upon you right now and if you claim it is going to do that miracle right now inside your heart so instead of asking now thank the Lord for the power of the resurrection that is moving inside your life right now thank you Lord thank you Jesus thank you Father hallelujah 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 Thank you, Lord. Praise, praise you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is showing someone who is going through a listlessness, unable to be motivated to work, to motivated to eat, motivated to sleep, and feels that life is of little value. The Lord says, Come to me. And if you allow me to enter your life, and forgive you your sins of the past and I give you my strength I will transform you into a great blessing 
and a witness says the lord thank you hallelujah. lord hallelujah hallelujah. You, Jesus. hallelujah hallelujah and that person's name is starting with the letter n says the lord thank hallelujah. you jesus thank you, praise lord. your father your glory hallelujah and love. lord is showing me a person who has an unsettled issue in the office even thinking of quitting but the lord is telling you i am in control though that you have lost wait for two weeks you will see my hand says the lord hallelujah thank you lord hallelujah hallelujah lord is talking to roger nihal devan lord says i love you i have called you here says the lord thank you lord praise hallelujah. you lord. hallelujah There is a person who has a problem with the bladder, and it is affecting the prostate too. The Lord says today during this worship, I heal you. Do not fear anymore, says Thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 A person who has arthritis affected the right hand very specially. The Lord says, in two days' time, I will heal you, and you will have no signs of this, says the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is speaking to a few people who are having wrong relationships. One, there is one person who doesn't want to let it go because it brings pleasure, and there is another person who wants to let go but is finding it difficult. The Lord says, "My child, I will give you the strength. Let it go into my hands. I have something far greater planned for you," says the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise Him. The Lord is showing a person who is going through sleepless nights. because of a huge financial crisis the lord says my dear child i have taken your over your problem and within a month i will resolve it so tonight trust in me and have a beautiful restful night says the lord thank you lord hallelujah hallelujah the lord is showing a person who is having a cyst and this person is fearing of this thinking whether it will turn to be a be cancerous but the lord says my dear child i am listening to your cry and i am answering your prayers and this cyst will disappear and the doctors will confirm this healing says the lord thank you lord hallelujah hallelujah the lord is talking to a person who is planning to write a letter or draw up a contract the lord says my child you are so keen and so adamant of doing this i invite you to wait upon me and i will give you the necessary words for you to write in this document because i know what is good for you and good for others trust in me says the lord thank you lord hana adam hemanti michel michael sandhya my children i know you by name do not doubt my love i love you says the lord thank you lord praise you father glory to you praise you lord the lord is healing a person who has a problem with the nostrils and who is considering that he has to go undergo an operation and the lord is saying as a mark of my love i have healed you today says the lord thank you praise you lord Hallelujah. thank you jesus Hallelujah. praise the lord is giving a vision of water gushing and flowing and it some people felt that presence of the water flowing and the lord is saying this is my living waters it's flowing from me to you from you to the nation says the lord thank you lord praise you father glory to you the lord is speaking to a person who has lost some jewelry and the lord says you have come here because of that struggle but today i have given you the pearl of great price and this is the love that i am showing you thank you thank you lord hallelujah hallelujah The Lord is speaking to someone who's going through severe depression and has been under heavy medication due to a lot of problems that this person has faced over the years. But today the Lord says, "I have broken through the locked doors and I am liberating you today. Today you are a free person and today you will experience the power of my love, my peace and my joy will be yours." says Thank the lord, lord. praise you lord hallelujah hallelujah the lord is also speaking to someone who's suffering severe migraine attacks and even today has come after a severe severe bout of uh, migraine but the lord today is is telling him that i am healing you today praise the lord thank you lord hallelujah the lord is healing 
two people, one of painful varicose veins and another person who is losing imbalance. The Lord says, my children, I love you and I'm healing you and release what that fear that you're having in you to me. I need to do something great in your life, says the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is talking to a person who uh, experienced a pain in the lower right side of their back just before coming here. The Lord is saying, as a mark of my love, I'm touching your kidney and healing you right now, says Thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us get ready for the blessing, my blessings. You gave us the Eucharist at the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit and God forever and ever.
Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be a Holy and Immaculate Conception. Blessed be a Holy and Immaculate Conception. Blessed be her Glorious Assumption. Blessed be her Glorious Assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. We all stand and give a mighty hand to the Lord tonight, my brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Join us in the song of the resurrection because it is the first Wednesday after Easter. Join us in the song of the resurrection. Yeah. 